thanks for watching and in honor of my new whiteboard I know let's evaluate this wonderfully tricky integral so the first thing you want to do is complete the square so this becomes integral from 0 to pi over 2 1 plus over 1 plus so this is sine squared x plus cosine squared x squared minus the cross terms so 2 sine squared x cosine squared x all in the same denominator dx and the beautiful thing is, remember, sine squared plus cosine squared, that is just 1. So in the end, we get the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over, so 1 plus 1, which is 2. And also, I would like to remind you, sine times cosine, that is 1 half sine of 2x. So this becomes minus 1 half sine squared of 2x dx which then you can just factor out the one half and then you get, I believe, two times integral from zero to pi over two of one over four minus um, sine squared of two x, of course, two x dx. Okay. And now the next step, you'll see why, is to rewrite this in terms of tangent because this will allow us to find a nice u sub. Because I would like to remind you that sine of 2x is just equal to 2 sine of x cosine of x, but then uh, dividing and multiplying by cosine, this becomes 2 sine of x cos over cosine of x times cosine squared of x. Now, sine over cosine, it is tangent, so 2 tangent of x. Well, cosine of x is 1 over secant squared of x. And secant squared is 1 plus tangent squared. So this, in the end, it just becomes 2 tangent of x over 1 plus tangent squared of x. And now, let's see how we can use that in our integral. So remember, we had this integral here, but now we can write sine in terms of tangent. So this gen just becomes 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 4 minus 2 tangent of x, and then 1 plus tangent squared of x squared dx. And now you can put the tangent squared on the numerator, but let's just see then what happens to the denominator. Well, if you do 4 times 1 plus tangent squared of x squared, so this term, and you subtract 4 tangent squared of x, well, you can complete the square, I mean, you can expand it out, and you get 4 plus 8 tangent squared of x plus 4 tangent to the fourth of x minus 4 tangent squared of x. So the 8 and the 4, they do not almost cancel out, to then just get 4 plus 4 tangent squared of x plus 4 tangent to the fourth of x. So there's a nice factor of 4 uh, that will come out because now we're ready for a u sub. And the nice thing is, if you let u equals tangent of x, well, then du is just secant squared of x dx, which is precisely 1 plus tangent squared of x. And why is that nice? Well, one of the factors will become du, and the other factor just becomes um, 1 plus u squared. So in the end, our integral then just transforms into the 1 half, of course, because of that 1 half, 
Well, tangent of zero is zero, tangent of pi over two minus is infinity, and we have one plus u squared, and then over one plus u squared plus u to the fourth du. So much nicer, there is no trig here, but there is a trick, of course, yeah. and we can just continue uh, using basically more u subs. So now the next thing you want to do, and again, it will make sense in a second, is just factor out u squared from both the top and the bottom to get the following. Now it turns out, and this is the thing that will help us solve it, the denominator is actually the sum of two squares. If you write it cleverly as follows, so it turns out if you kind of complete the square, this becomes integral, one half integral from zero to infinity of one plus u to the minus two. So that's the same thing, but the denominator is u minus one over u squared. So uh, u to the squared plus u to the minus two, and then the cross terms, which becomes minus two, I believe. So to make this one, you have to add three. And then we're almost done because now this suggests to use the u sub v equals u minus u to the minus one. Which is very nice because then dv becomes precisely one plus u to the minus u two. Do you, and again, if you plug in zero plus, this gives you minus infinity. If you plug in infinity, this gives you infinity. So in the end, what you obtain is the following. So one half integral from minus infinity to infinity of dv over v squared plus three. I mean, don't you smell the arc tangent here? Well, this is precisely what we wanna use. Because indeed, as you may guess, well, this integral evaluates precisely to arctangent. So this becomes, I believe, one half and then one over square root of three arctangent of v over square root of three. And this is v going from minus infinity to infinity. But well, arctangent of minus infinity is minus pi over two, arctangent of infinity is pi over two. So what we end up getting is one over two square root of three pi over two minus minus pi over two. And this is precisely as delicious as pi. So in the end, we get pi over two square root of three. Well, how nice is that? All right, I hope you like this. If you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.